Join us for a reading from The Lottery. The Lottery is a short story by Shirley Jackson that was first published in The New Yorker on June 26, 1948. The story describes a fictional small American community which observes an annual tradition known as the Lottery, which is intended to ensure a good harvest and purge the town of bad omens. Horace is not but sixteen yet, Mrs. Dunbar said regretfully. Guess I gotta fill in for the old man this year. Right, Mr. Summers said. He made a note on the list he was holding. Then he asked, Watson boy drawing this year? A tall boy in the crowd raised his hand. Here, he said, I'm drawing for my mother and me. He blinked his eyes nervously and ducked his head as several voices in the crowd said things like, Good fellow, Jack, and glad to see your mother's got a man to do it. Well, Mr. Summers said, guess that's everyone. Old man Warner make it. Here, a voice said, and Mr. Summers nodded. A sudden hush fell on the crowd as Mr. Summers cleared his throat and looked at the list. All ready, he called. Now, I'll read the names, heads of families first, and the men come up and take a paper out of the box. Keep the paper folded in your hand without looking at it until everyone has had a turn. Everything clear? The people had done it so many times that they only half listened to the directions. Most of them were quiet, wetting their lips, not looking around. Then Mr. Summers raised one hand high and said, Adams. A man disengaged himself from the crowd and came forward. Hi, Steve, Mr. Summers said, and Mr. Adams said, Hi, Joe. They grinned at one another humorlessly and nervously. Then Mr. Adams reached into the black box and took out a folded paper. He held it firmly by one corner as he turned and went hastily back to his place in the crowd, where he stood a little apart from his family, not looking down at his hand. Alan, Mr. Summers said. Anderson. Bentham. Seems like there's no time at all between lotteries anymore, Mrs. Delacroix said to Mrs. Graves in the back row. Seems like we got through with the last one only last week. Time sure goes fast, Mrs. Graves said. Clark. Delacroix. There goes my old man, Mrs. Delacroix said. She held her breath while her husband went forward. Dunbar, Mr. Summers said, and Mrs. Dunbar went steadily to the box while one of the women said, Go on, Janie, and another said, There she goes. We're next, Mrs. Graves said. She watched while Mr. Graves came around from the side of the box, greeted Mr. Summers gravely, and selected a slip of paper from the box. By now, all through the crowd, there were men holding the small folded papers in their large hands, turning them over and over nervously. Mrs. Dunbar and her two sons stood together, Mrs. Dunbar holding the slip of paper. Harbert, Hutchinson. Get up there, Bill, Mrs. Hutchinson said, and the people near her laughed. Jones. They do say, Mr. Adams said to old man Warner, who stood next to him, that over in the North Village they're talking of giving up the lottery. Old man Warner snorted. Pack of crazy fools, he said. Listening to the young folks, nothing's good enough for them. Next thing you know, they'll be wanting to go back to living in caves. Nobody work any more. Live that way for a while. Used to be a saying about lottery in June. Corn be heavy soon. First thing you know, we'd all be eating stewed chickweed and acorns. There's always been a lottery, he added petulantly. Bad enough to see young Joe Summers up there joking with everybody. Some places have already quit lotteries, Mrs. Adams said. Nothing but trouble in that, old man Warner said stoutly. Pack of young fools. Martin, and Bobby Martin watched his father go forward. Overdyke, Percy. I wish they'd hurry, Mrs. Dunbar said to her older son. I wish they'd hurry. They're almost through, her son said. You get ready to run tell Dad, Mrs. Dunbar said. Mr. Summers called his own name and then stepped forward precisely and selected a slip from the box. Then he called, Warner. Seventy-seventh year I've been in the lottery, old man Warner said as he went through the crowd. Seventy-seventh time. Watson. The tall boy came awkwardly through the crowd. Someone said, Don't be nervous, Jack. And Mr. Summers said, Take your time, son.